Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to create a live streaming app in Flutter. So let us see the demonstration. Now this is my real device and this is the emulator. Now in the real device give username as Navid. User ID as Navid 786. And live ID as 123. And make Navid as host. And press on join button. Now in the emulator give username as Abdullah. User ID as Abdullah123 and give live ID as 123 and press on join button. Now click on start. Now we are live now. Here you can see. Now we are live now. Here you can see. We can also do the chat. Here you can see. Hello everyone. I have already created a new Flutter project live streaming app with the help of Flutter create command. In this project, we have two files main.dart home.dart. Inside the main.dart file, we are calling my home page class, which is present inside the home.dart file. Now we will see home.dart file. Inside the home.dart file, we have scaffold widget. Inside the scaffold widget, we have a bar and body. Inside the body, we have column widget. And inside the column widget, we have three text field. First one is for username. Second one is for user ID. Third one is for live ID. And we have a elevated button for join live. Now we will see how to take input in these fields from users. Here I have already created three text editing controller. First one is name controller. Second one is user ID controller. Third one is live ID controller. Now we will see how to use this text editing controller inside the text field. Inside the username field we will use name controller. And inside the user ID field we will use user ID controller. And inside the live ID field, we will use live ID controller. Now we need to create here checkbox for checking a user is host or not. So we will create here checkbox. Now we need to create a variable is host is a boolean type initially we will initialize as a false now we will create here is host now we need to use this variable inside the checkbox here we need to pass this variable is host and in the onChained method we need to change the value of is host variable and here we need to use setState method to reflect the value on the UI of the checkbox Here we need to use null check operator on this value. Now give a text widget. In the text widget give a host. Now give a style. In the style give a text style widget. 
now in the text style give the font size as 18 now we have this output now when a user click on join button we need to integrate the live streaming app code so for this we will use a zago cloud service so for this open the google chrome and type zago cloud follow the first link now let me introduce you to the zago cloud well zago cloud is a global communication service which provide various sdk and ui kits for video call voice call and live streaming as well so to use their service first of all we need to do the sign up now for the sign up we have to give the first name then last name then country then a work email after this we need to get the verification code then password and we have to receive the terms and condition to the zago cloud now after successful registration we will get the 10000 free minutes now after successful registration you will uh, see this dashboard now click on the create your project now we have various services now we will choose live streaming now click on next now after this we need to give the project name so let us give live stream video now we have two ways to integrate first one for ui kits and second one for sdk we will choose start with ui kit now our project is creating now click on start building your app now now choose for flutter now press on save and start to integrate button now we have app id and app sign now come to your project and create a new file which is constant dot dot now in this file create two variables first one is for app id which is int app id and second one is for app sign now just copy the app id and paste it here now copy the app sign and paste it here now click on quick start now we need to follow this documentation to successfully integrate our live streaming app so firstly we need to copy this dependency and just open your terminal and paste that dependency here and press enter now we have successfully imported this plugin now after this create a new file which is live page dot dot now in this file create a stateful widget now give name as live page now just copy this import statement and paste it here now just copy this code and paste it here now we need app id and app sign so for this use app id which is uh, which is there in constant or dart file now for app sign we have app sign now for user id and username we need to make these controller as global so that we can use these controller in another one file now for username give name controller dot text 
now for live id give live id controller dot text now for user id give user id controller dot text now make this variable global as well now the error is gone now just follow the documentation now we have to config our project for android and ios as well so firstly uh, go for the android now we need to add this implementation in our android app build.gradle file so just copy this dependency and navigate to the android then app then build.gradle now below the flutter just paste this dependency now after this we need to set the minimum sdk version as 21 we have already set this now we need to set the compile sdk version to 33 we have already set it to 34 now we need to copy this build script and paste this build script in android build.gradle now navigate to the android then build.gradle now in this just paste this build script now we need to modify the permissions as well so just copy these permissions and paste these permission in android.manifest file now navigate to the app then src then main and in the main we have android manifest.xml file now in this file just paste those permissions just like this now we need to create a file proguard-rules.pro in the app folder now in the app create a new file proguard-rules.pro now in this file now in this file just copy this code and paste it here now we need to paste this line in build.gradle in in the release part so navigate to the android then app then build out gradle now in the release just paste this line now after this we need to run and test our application and our configuration has been done now when a user press on join button we need to navigate to the live page dot dart file so in the home dot dart file in on press method we will use navigator dot push for the material page root in this we need to pass the live page now let us hot reload the app now give username as navid user id as navid 786 and live id as 123 and remember live id should be same in every device now make navid as host and press on join button now we are live now